Today we're gonna to be doing a wheel bearing on Mark 7. Let's go. I'm working on a lift and you're not, so too bad. To break this loose, 24 millimeter 12 point, you put a screwdriver into the rotor. You can then try to break it loose like this. If that's an issue, you may wanna run this bolt in so that this set screw doesn't snap off. For breaking this bolt loose, we're using an electric impact. If you don't have an impact strong enough, you're gonna need a large breaker bar to break this bolt loose. Yeah, see, see, yeah. Ugh. That smells bad. Put it back in. Push. Push. Now we have to get the axle out of the wheel bearing housing. It is splined into it. We're threading a bolt in. Make sure you get good thread purchase on this because if you hammer this bolt without it threaded in all the way, you're going to mess up the threads and ruin your axle. Once you have the axle loose from the wheel hub, that is the key here. You don't need to push it all the way out. You can do that once you've taken the ball joint off the control arm. Now that we got the axle broken loose from here, we can get the brakes off. Two 21 millimeters. Easy peasy. This bolt is one time use. You'll probably use it more than one time. Before we take the caliper off, you can hang it, bungee cord or coat hanger used for painting and or caliper hanging and or anything else you can use a coat hanger for. This torque screw may be stripped on your car. Don't strip it, you have to drill it out. Wheel bolt trick, put one in there, hit the hub. Always hit the hub. Don't hit the don't hit the brake rotor. If unless you intend on throwing your rotors away, then hit whatever you want. Not your wife. Don't hit her. <laughs> 17 millimeter socket I stuck on in there. It fits. It ships. We don't have to worry about damage and threads. That means it's loose, like a long neck goose. Ball joints. Three nuts. Got some tension on this ball joint. There we go. Here I've reinserted one of the studs of the ball joint into the control arm and then threaded a nut on. I'm doing this so that it doesn't move around while we're trying to break the wheel bearing bolts loose. Three of them, they're 10 millimeter triple squares. If you don't have one, you will need one. Uh, we'll link to a triple square set in the description. <clears throat> These are pretty tight bolts, BTW. So. Don't strip them. You can only use electric tools once you've broken them loose. That's the rules. I don't make them. This is a bolt-in bearing. Not a lot of rust. That's just surface rust. This comes right out. You live in a place where there's a lot of rust, guess what? It probably won't do that. You're gonna have to beat it out with a hammer. Hear that noise? Old and busted. New hotness. This is for cleaning a battery terminal, but I had it handy, so you wanna clean your surface here wire brush or a sandpaper or your cat's tongue. You ever have it licked by a cat? It's the most uncomfortable thing ever. Clean it out, clean it up. New wheel bearing going in. If you need one of these, you can find them on our site. They vary by model, so don't just buy any old one. We'll link to the Mark 7 ones in the description where you can buy one. They come with these bolts and the axle bolt. You should replace them. There are other one-time use bolts involved with this, but remember, like I said, you're not gonna replace them. We're gonna get her bolted down and torqued down, snug down, snugged in, snug down. Axle's gotta go back into our wheel bearing. Make sure your splines are clean. Stick it in, get her splined up, and get her lined up. Get her splined up and lined up. With our old bolt, we're gonna run it in and just pull this axle the rest of the way in. Make sure you have this thing splined first before you do this and do not just run this home. If you do, you will regret it. Watch, just turn it on in, turn it on in. Just let it pull in by itself. Make sure this is moving free, freely over here. There we go. See, just got a little taparoo. All right, now we can put our brake caliper on with our pads. And if you need to, you might have to reposition your brake pads and wiggle them to open them up. Old bolt out, new bolt going in, has thread locker on it. Torque spec for this is different depending on which style bolt. We're gonna show it to you now. Question, how are you supposed to know when your axle's in all the way? Number one, spline it in. Make sure it seats against this back here. If you look at the back, there shouldn't be a big gap between the axle and the hub. That is fully seated against there. We're ready to torque it. Here's 70, ready? Click, 70. Next part is tightening the hub for a turn. 
uh, pop the hub out, we're gonna put the wheel on the car. Remember, different for all cars. We're gonna be tightening this down and we have a 90 degree turn. You do so with the car in gear, maybe with a friend with your foot on the brakes. If you don't have a friend, ask a neighbor. If you don't have a neighbor, then I don't know, figure it out. Center cap in, bam. Test drive the car, drive it away. Make sure all the bolts are tight, test drive it. Don't just, you know, whatever. You will need to get an alignment. Technically, if you've removed any suspension components, that is something you should do. Uh, it's not direly urgent, but it could cause camber wear issues or tire wear issues if you don't. Also buy a wheel bearing from us, shoptap.com.